what is up guys we are back here with some more blisters oh man these both of these sets are incredibly hard to find first of all rarity collection is just a big hit with collectors there's a lot of really key and important staples printed in here that are now insanely cheap because of it and then age of overlord has a lot of people clamoring for specific archetypes specific cards uh horus and then there is diabal but diabal star is that how you pronounce it i believe it is and uh there's some other fire cards you know that people are going crazy for so people have been buying that out it's a bit the sealed set has been increasing in value a lot and the rarity collection as well not not as fast but also the rarity collection did get released last of the two so i guess it is expected so let's go ahead and see what we can do here with these blisters Though I kind of doubt, you know, I haven't been too lucky with Age of Overlord blisters. Actually, maybe I have. Didn't I pull Mzesty from one of them? I believe I did. All right, so Ash, Blossom, and Joyous Spring. Hell yeah, usually this is a good sign for me at least. And there it is, yep, good sign. Quarter Century, Rare Tide, guys, try to plant Drag, Dragstophilia. Usually I can tell by the lighting, but I guess since I don't have... Too, hard, too harsh of a lighting in this video. I couldn't tell that it was a quarter century rare, but uh, I'll take it. Not the best, I don't think. Usually, or the ones that are doing the best are definitely Ash Blossom. And uh, let's see what's off the top of my head. Barone is pretty expensive. Infinite and Permanent is pretty expensive, but I will still take this card. Aura Load the Savage. The Savage himself. All in a Valbaz in a forest. All right. So I'm going to actually put him right there. Ooh, that was good. Good first pack. Let's see if Asian Overlord treats us treats us good. Man, still hate these main sets. They they really do need to work on these main sets. I feel, but I've been harping on that for the longest time, so I doubt it's ever gonna happen. Right? We got an Ogdatic Overlord, an Ogdatic Daddy. All right, not good. Actually, there's another Ogdatic card in here. I thought there was only one that was released. Uh, along with the, the Ogdatic Daddy, I guess. All right, let's see. Rarity Collection has treated me well, though. Like, really well. I'm probably going to buy another box, although that's a lot of openings of the same set on the channel. So, I don't know. Lava Golem. We got Shadal Schism. A Reinforcement of the Army. Reprinted to death, man. Uh, and a Barone de Flor. That's definitely nothing to sneeze at. It is really cheap right now, but again, it's expected since this set, I mean, printed it to the ground, but I don't know, man. Konami has a, uh, a track record of printing a set to the ground and they're kind of forgetting about it if it's not the most... It's a really meta card, but it's not the most relevant, you know, all the time. It it's not doesn't fit every single deck is what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, Tarai... Stars align above the Shrine Pendulum Evolution, Master of Tau, Exceed the Pendulum. Is she a quarter century rare in this set? I kind of feel like she's not. I think the only link in uh, quarter century rare is the SP Little Knight. Although I could be wrong. Could be wrong. All right, rarity collection. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, two quarter century rares would be amazing because that's actually really above the norm but we will see compulsory evacuation device red eyes flare flare metal dragon we got a oh there we go what is this a uh all t a spell book of judgment hell yeah and another pet of plan dragos drag drags or something like that drago stapelia that's what it is okay and lightning storm hey i'll take that spell book of judgment though Spell books, I mean, they're not doing anything right now, but they are, they could be an engine to pretty much any spellcaster type uh, deck. We just need a spellcaster type deck to do uh, stuff. All right, escape, escape goat, nice. Discordance of Testina. Oh, we just ruined that one. What is it? A TG all clear, all clear. You know what? Let's, let's do all the Age of Overlord ones now, because I feel like Rarity Collection is just going to have more, more build-up and more resolution. <laughs> Play of the Testina. 
Transcendarosaurus. We got Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Starring Knight, and a uh, Burfamet, the Mythical King of Phantom Beasts. That is a long name. Oh, man. So I run a website, a Yu-Gi-Oh! website, and the names are getting really ridiculous. I have to update the, the database to support, like... 60 character names or some shit like that. It's really, really ridiculous. Tarai, we got Shade Peacock, Play of the Tessina, and Burning Dragon. See, these these boosters ain't it, for me at least. I don't get too lucky. Actually, were there more blisters of Age of Overlord? No, I don't think so. Those were, I think I bought out all the ones from the store I went to. So, people left me with the unlucky packs. Why would you do that to me? Reasoning. Nice. And Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. All right. No quarter century rare. We got it. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, wait, what, what rarity is that? That's a that's a collector rare, though. Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax collector rare. Probably not, not the worst one to pull, to be honest. Because this card is actually pretty decent. It's pretty decent. It's, it's really hard to get out. So now that I'm thinking about it, okay, no, it's a light monster. I was like, is it is it good in a speed void deck, but it has to be wind? Unfortunately not. Because it, it would be. If it, if he was wind, man, I would run this guy in a speed void deck any any day. Any day. Nibiru the Rock. The Rock. Alright, three more packs. Let's go. Alright, so we got Fallen, Fallen of Albaz. Do we have anything in the wings here? No dogmatic punishment, which, yeah, no, it's not a, a platinum secret rare. Sometimes it, it is hard to tell, guys. Uh, we got a decode, talker, heat, soul. We got, oh, there you go, infinite impermanence collector. This is a pretty decent pull. Although, I don't know if the quarter or the collector rares are expensive. So, right now, the, the cards that are selling out are the quarter century rares, of course. But there's a weird trend that's happening where some of the uh, collector rares are kind of getting value, valuable, right? So maybe, although, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. All right. I will take that, though. Infinite Impermanence. I've been trying to get a quarter century rare Impermanence. I'm not buying it because it's like 60 bucks. But I, if I pull it, you know, it's going to be a pretty good card in the, in the old collection there. We got Junk Speeder and... A, an effect veiler. Okay, this is actually a platinum, platinum secret. I've already pulled one though. That's crazy. It's not the worst pull because people are also buying this card out as a secret rare. It's like a five dollar card or something like that. So as a platinum secret rare, I'm assuming it's about five to ten bucks, but might have to double check on that. But I will take it because these platinum secret rares are the same, have the same pull rates as quarter century rares. It's just people like the shiny stuff more than the. Uh, the low-key rarities, right? I personally like this more, but, you know, maybe I'm just weird like that. We got a Danger danger Jack Lope and an Ice Barrier. Hell yeah. All right, last pack. Quarter Century Rare. Come on. Come on, I do want one. Or want to wanna end it with one, I should say. Egyptian God Slime Boy. And, oh, whoa, look at that. Quarter Century Rare actually insanely lucky guys because like i said it's like one so it's three per box so we're beating the odds here it's an effect monster and it is dark i think so effect monster of the start i'm guessing it's forest oh another lava i pulled this one already as well but this is this is also got, kind of going up in the in the market it started like at 10 to 15 bucks now it's 20 dollars not as much. It's not going up too crazy like Infinite Impermanence, but I will take it because it's actually kind of a nice card, man. Lava Gold, it's a situational card to include in your deck, of course, but, I mean, people are going crazy with the Fire Attribute right now, so I'll take it. All right, and then we got Small small World and Reasoning. So, you know what? <laughs> I guess the point of this video or the, uh, the conclusion that we can make is that, for me at least, Rarity Collection is insanely insanely good to get and then just stay clear of age of warlord all right guys catch you guys in the next one